than on Sunday in Troy are being torn down, but the questions are growing. Police say they have no suspects, but one Troy City Council member is questioning changes in the force that he says are leaving the streets vulnerable. Marcy Natal reports. One by one, the burnout buildings along 6th Avenue in Troy are demolished Tuesday. Fire officials aren't saying if an accelerant was used, but it is being investigated as a possible arson. This fire comes on the heels of a shooting and a handful of other suspected fires this summer. We know there was a shooting on May 1st at 3251 6th Avenue. We know there was a fire twice at 3251 6th Avenue. Detectives will be looking at any possible connection. This is not random. And the word on the street here that the people I talk to, they know that it's one group up against another group. City Councilman Mark McGrath represents the North Central neighborhood. He says if more aggressive policing were in place, such as the Street Crimes Unit, this could have been avoided. They would squeeze these guys and gather information. And that's what they would do. The task force, which was known for a large volume of arrests, was disbanded two years ago. Council member Nina Nichols, who also heads up the Public Safety Committee, has been calling for more aggressive tactics, but says the task force is not the sole solution. We use directed patrols to hotspots. Back in the spring, the mayor implemented the Peace Initiative, which puts police officers right on the streets in the neighborhoods. He says he believes that's more effective than the strong arm tactics of the street crimes unit, but he has said Said he'll review it. This, you know, greet and meet and all these shaking hands, that's all fine and well, but when you have three houses burned down and you could have lost, you know, uh, several lives, then you got to stop. You really got to step up. Extra police and fire patrols are stationed in the neighborhood until an arrest is made. Marcy Natal, CBS 6 News, Troy.